That's a 15,000 BTU rooftop air conditioner on a 35 foot fifth wheel trailer. The front one's a 13.5. If you're going to run the 15,000 BTU AC on 110 volt and a 15 amp cord, let me show you what you can run into. You gotta be very careful. From the factory, Keystone puts on the main AC a 20 amp breaker. Also on the second AC, even though it's 13.5, it's still a 20 amp breaker also. So that tells us that a 20 amp breaker, that AC, either AC will run day and night and be perfectly content. Here's my service for the barn where the RV is plugged in. Looking at number 11, left west wall, number 11. This is a 20 amp breaker also. This is the weak link, a 50 foot, number 12 conductor, 15 amp rated extension cord. So we've just derated ourselves 25%. We went from 20 to 15 amp. This RV comes with a 50 amp service. We're taking a 50 amp service and adapting it down to 30. We're going from a 30 amp down to a 15 amp. So what happened was, I started it of a morning, about eight o'clock. Was going to get to about 92, 93 degrees around here. My wife had to get a lot of organization done in the RV while I was getting some stuff prepped on the outside. So she wanted the AC running. For the first four hours, about every hour, I would feel this cord. It felt cool when it was out of the sun, under the front of the RV. And of course, the big, the main service cord, it was always cool too. But I noticed the connection was starting to get a little warm on this one. This particular dog bone here, 15 to 30 amp, is 10 years old, and it's kind of flimsy. So let's go inside the RV, and I'll show you what I did to shut everything off except the 15,000 BTU AC. The refrigerator is on an inverter. It doesn't have an off switch. You have to kill the breaker. It's on an inverter anytime it's got hooked on battery, or plugged into shore power, or going down the road. It just remains on. You cannot get back behind it to simply unplug it. To run the AC and shut everything else off, I went ahead and flipped the breaker on the refrigerator right here. It's on a 15 amp breaker. But what I did have that runs full time on the outside, it's got an outside entertainment center. It's got a small fridge right behind this area. It's plugged in all the time and it's on all the time when you're on shore power. Or plugged in at your campground. So I went ahead and unplugged him. So now all we have running is the AC. I looked through my owner's manual on the AC on the 15,000 BTU unit and cannot find the specification that lists how many amps it runs on steady state or on startup. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess 8 to 10 amps on steady state and when the compressor does kick in, the fan will be running, but when the compressor kicks in, that's when your amps can shoot up, I want to say, as much as 13 14 maybe 15 amps on startups and then it'll settle back down So that's when you get in trouble with other items running like your inverter Coffee pot would be out of question on the 15 amp extension cord You'd be perfectly fine in a campground if you can utilize your full 30 amp or your 50 amp receptacle So I went ahead and ran it for a couple more hours maybe three hours and this cord was feeling pretty good actually cool to the touch But the dog bone the 15 to 30 amp the adapter it was starting to get a little warm not in this area but up in here on the 110 and that's the limiting factor this has got to be the weakest link on all of it so it welded itself it melted the rubber we're not plugged in anywhere so it got so hot here it bulged this thick nylon put a bulge in it where that was normally flat right here it raised it here it got so hot melted the rubber it took two hands to pull that apart and it just cooked this internally on this part right here so if you are going to run your ac on 110 volt with a 15 amp cord you need to really pay a lot of attention and to feel it see what's going on now look at the difference in quality in these two dog bones here i knew i needed one you just never know when exactly this is pretty good quality here this was purchased at the camp store. It just looked a lot better made than this one. This is very cheap and flimsy. This was bought, like I say, 10 years ago when we got our first fifth wheel. The cord will need to be repaired. I'll cut it here, just put in a, put in another receptacle on it. It looks like it got so hot it damaged. There's a bus in here too. You can see that copper bus if the sun's just right. You can see that little bus running in here. It got it pretty hot right here too. Your biggest issue is when you start heating up like that is your voltage drop. That AC can't stand too much voltage drop. 
without damaging the motor. I can only hope I didn't damage mine, being a brand new unit. But time will tell. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Have a good one.